video, I want to walk you through three components of an automated sales system. So no matter what you're selling, whether it's a physical product or a digital product or even an affiliate product, there are three components that you need to have an automated sales system. So the first component is content. So you need to have some way that people can find who you are and what you're doing um, through the internet to have this automated sales system. Whether that is creating YouTube videos like this, um, these can be instructional or educational YouTube videos, or they can be entertaining YouTube videos. This could be blogs or podcasts. It could also be using social media, so Reels, um, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, any of these can be your content base. And if you're just getting started and you're not sure how to create content, I have a content planner workbook that you can use. You can get it using the link in the description below, and it's going to walk you through how to plan out content ideas that you can use to start creating this content. The whole purpose of your content is to have a way for people to be able to find you. And so if you are an educational person, you want to be able to answer questions that your ideal audience or your ideal customer would have. And if you are a product person, um, you could be entertaining people by how you create that product, making them interested in using your product, or answering questions that they have about the types of products you make or why they should be using your products. The second component that you need once you have content is to have some form of capture system. So the most common system to use is email. And so creating some form of email list, um, the service that I generally recommend if you're just getting started out is ConvertKit. And so you can use ConvertKit and just be able to capture people's emails. And so once you're able to capture people's emails, this is how you can build an audience that you can directly speak to because you can directly email them. And I will have a link to ConvertKit below and you can get started doing this completely for free on ConvertKit. Once you have the email set up, you can send just broadcast letting them know about what they can buy from you and selling to them or you can set up sequences instead so that it's automated once they give you their email that they will automatically learn about products that you have. And then the third component is probably really obvious, but the third component is to have a product. So you need to have something that you are selling in order to have an automated sales system. And a lot of people think that they need to create this product first. And I would suggest that you actually don't need to create this product first. You can check out this video above where I actually talk about the four phases of creating an automated sales system. And so starting off with email and content is going to actually set you up better than starting off with a product. The other thing is this product does not actually need to be your own product that you own. If you are a business owner, I would highly suggest that you do have some product that you own and you sell, but you can start off selling an affiliate product. So you're selling something that you don't make, you don't own, but you're going to get a commission because you are doing marketing for the people who do own that product. Eventually, you want to branch out into either having digital or physical products that you can sell access to through your email list and your email sales sequence. But you just basically need three components, some form of content, an email list and email sequences, and then a product that you can actually sell through that email list and email sequences. And so if you haven't gotten started with any of this yet, start off with content first. And if you don't know where to start with that, get my content planner below. Once you have your content, then start with your email list. And then finally, once that's set up, get into your actual product and developing that out. 
I hope this was really helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.